We're standing in, at the uh, Critical Infrastructure Test Range Complex, or Citric. Most of the buildings up here used to be old reactor buildings. My name is Shad Keel. I'm a scientist and a subject matter expert for the Emergency Response and Readiness Program under the National and Homeland Security Directorate. The primary focus of our customers is to come out here and utilize a lot of their radiological search techniques using uh, radiological detectors with real radioactive material, such as iridium-192 and cesium-137, or even contamination in the form of stuff that we can disperse through spray, or we can even explosively disperse it in the form of a potassium bromide. I'm Brian Marsh, a uh, relationship manager. Uh, I'm also a uh, project manager and help with instruction. A lot of the training that we do is traditionally been um, focused on individual skill sets. So what we want to do is make sure that the team has to go out and locate a source and characterize it, that they can do that quickly uh, so they can reduce uh, exposure uh, and that they can also uh, do that with confidence to be able to provide uh, actionable assessment for their commander as to you know what the situation is. So we really can't do that with simulated sources. We need to provide that in the buildings that we have out here at, at Citrix. So we'll have work that occurs outside as well as uh, searches in the buildings. We have a lot of uh, requests for contamination training. So we have used medical isotopes from offsite. Uh, but recently we've been developing our own contamination on-site. We can do that at some locations off-site if we have the, the proper uh, controls in place. Uh, a significant amount of our training occurs off-site as well. We've made some uh, partnerships with our local community. Uh, our Park and Recreations from Idaho Falls supports us with uh, training at Melaleuca uh, Baseball Field as well as uh, Sandy Downs. Uh, we've done training at the state fairgrounds and we have a very strong relationship with Idaho uh, State University. They developed a uh, disaster response complex. Uh, they have an old 1930 era National Guard Armory building that the students have built a mock city block. And we've donated a uh, INL commuter bus that uh, we detonated out at our national security test range. And so we have a mass casualty scenario that we use at that facility. We try and uh, uh, take our sources, uh, provide a training opportunity and uh, make these as realistic as possible. Outside of our training role, we also provide expertise in the characterization of radiological detectors and x-ray systems. We have the capability out here to perform x-rays on components that have either been provided to us or that we develop for a customer set, including the inclusion of radioactive material inside of those devices to see how they interact with the panels or the x-ray systems. We also have the capability to test the detectors that the teams will utilize in the field compared to our radiological sources so that they can understand the operating characteristics, any limitations, and actually how good that detector works in a real world environment. One of our other capabilities out here is we have the radiological response training range, which is where we can leverage some of our explosive subject matter experts to couple our radioactive material with explosive dispersal techniques. This allows customers to come out and work in a real world plume dispersal of radioactive material, allowing them to leverage their capabilities as such as radiation detection in localized with small detectors, as well as some airborne and vehicle mounted detection systems. What INEL does uh, to support our military is a national asset. There's nowhere else where we can go for this, this level of training. What I'm most proud of with my work here at the INL, being a retired military, is I still feel like I have a foot in the mission. I can help make it better for the guys that are still out there having to respond or characterize some of these hazards. That's like winning the lottery for me.